Tonight, news of something some customers have been waiting for for weeks. One of the area dry cleaners that recently closed is opening again for a brief time for customers to pick up their belongings. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan has been following this story. Jessica, what's the latest? Well, you have until 12 o'clock noon tomorrow to stop by the Main Street store. That's how long a local man there is keeping the doors open. He's not getting paid to be there, but he is trying to buy that store. People couldn't get their clothes, so I had a lawyer contact the county and got me permission to, just for goodwill, try to get people their clothes back. Kerry Hodas is spending his morning sifting through clothes and trying to calm angry customers who have been unable to pick up their dry cleaning for weeks. It's terrible. Well, the stuff that was brought in early enough is all here. The stuff that was brought in right before they close is sort of in limbo. Hodas is hoping to buy Main Street Cleaners and says he got permission from the current owner to open up the store. He says the owner was supposed to gather up customers' items from both Michael the Cleaner stores and bring them here to Main Street Cleaners. But some customers are showing up to find their clothes aren't here. Shirts, pants, even some customers' entire dry cleaning orders are missing. They cannot find our shirts, so four shirts. So they said they would probably get a phone call back, but pretty disappointed that I'm coming out with no shirts. Looking to become the new owner of the shop, HOTUS is coming in voluntarily, collecting money for dry cleaning orders that will go towards paying off the liens on equipment in this shop. The Sarasota County tax collector says the owner owes delinquent taxes for the last three years. The county says it could have seized the property and auctioned off the dry cleaning equipment inside for the taxes that are due. We would prefer not to do that. We would prefer to work with the either the current owner or the new owner to get the, those taxes taken care of. Hodes is hoping he can be that new owner. But for now, he has one task at hand, clearing out this shop and he's urging customers to act quickly. Hurry and get your stuff and we hope we find it. We're finding a lot of it, but we're not finding all of it. And Hoda says he is getting the dry cleaning equipment in that building appraised and he's hoping to take over ownership by January. Now, uh, Jessica, we know that he's come in and he's opened the store today and tomorrow. What's his next move now? Well, right now he's working with the landlords of that building, which is the First Baptist Church there next door. Mm -hmm. He's working with them and his lawyers to try to come to some agreement to pay off the liens on the equipment inside. So right now it's just a waiting game to see right. what happens. Okay, Jessica, we'll keep us updated.